guys, NeuroTM here, back again with yet another art video and today is going to be a review of markers and actually a website called Banggood contacted me and said I can choose any item from your shop and make a review so I did and I chose these babies and this is a set of 80 markers and these are called Touch 5 markers and they are alcohol based and they're just like really awesome, I can tell you. As the sale is going on, you can get these 80 markers and a case for $37.99, plus you can get a free shipping. So this is awesome deal, mind-blowing for me, since alcohol-based markers tend to be very expensive. I will leave link down below, go check them out if you're interested in buying some cheap alcohol-based markers. I totally recommend these. And if you want to see how these work and how we look compared to Copic markers, then continue watching this video. Since this video is going to be comparing these babies to my expensive Copic markers. And one Copic marker costs from $5 to $10, so that's an insane amount of money. And to think that you can get 80 of these for like $40 is like... It's like so awesome. So I was thinking what to draw for this video and since my friend from England came back to Lithuania, she brought me this awesome shirt and it's Melanie Martinez shirt as you can see and I totally love it and right about now I'm just like totally in the mood of drawing Melanie Martinez so let's do it. First of all guys, I do want to mention that everything I will say during this video will be my honest opinion since I see no chance or no point lying to you. I can't somehow fake the quality of the markers, so if they wouldn't work I would be forced to say that they do not work, especially when I'm showing you the speed paint. Of course, in the end of the day, some of you will prefer Copic markers picture, others will prefer Touch 5 markers picture, but keep in mind that I use Copics for more than 5 years and Touch 5 ones I only own for 2 weeks, so that might be a problem. Also, I wasn't able to match the colors. For example, in Copic markers picture, hair is darker but skin is lighter. I had more Copics but I felt more limited with them because I have a lot of reds, grays, but a lack of pinks, for example. So just keep all of that in mind when you will be judging the pictures and tell me in the comments which one do you prefer more. So as you can see, I didn't draw directly on the paper and I didn't do the line work because I knew I would mess up many times, so I just decided to draw everything in a computer and print out some copies. Also love the fact that printer ink doesn't smudge when you use markers on top, so that's a huge benefit. Not only that, I didn't want line work quality affect your opinion on the markers, since when you do the same line work over and over, your lines tend to get a little lazy, and I didn't want that to happen. So the things that really make Opics famous is the fact that they blend well, they have a brush tip and they don't leave strokes. So first of all, Touch 5 markers blended even better than Copics, and they don't leave strokes just as well. I was so surprised when I was able to blend two different family colors super easily with broad tips, so in the end of the day these markers don't really need brush tips since brush tip is the key to easy blending. But there is a downside to this amazingly easy blending, they bleed a lot more if you layer them. So I guess you just really need to think more before doing something and everything will work out. For example, at first I struggled with eyebrows gradient. With Copics I colored corners with black, then took lighter and lighter grays and finished up with pink on top of everything. With Touch 5 markers I had to start with pink and other colors just blended into it. So it's just a different approach but the result is the same, so I guess there is no difference. To be honest, I never was a huge fan of brush markers. For example, if you go watch Bailey J reviews on markers, you will hear that if marker doesn't have a brush tip, that's a no-no for her. But you never really hear a different opinion. So here I am to say that if ink blends well, that brush tip is just something fancy that you don't really need. It becomes only a fancy option. I say fancy since if alcohol marker has a brush tip, for some reason the price is two or three times bigger. And that in my opinion is overrated. Also with Touch 5 markers you can choose between black and white designs. And I always wanted black markers, but for Copics you can only get them black in anniversary set and that thing is super expensive. By the way, for buying these Touch 5 markers you get a case, 
and the quality of a case is totally fine, just a normal, nicely working case. So that's a benefit after benefit. When I was 12, I don't know if I didn't know about cheaper alternatives or they just didn't exist. But if they did, I feel bad that I didn't get them and invested my parents' money into Copics. Sorry for all the Copic fans out there, but I think it's just not worth in my opinion. Of course, you can't refill touch 5 markers, but the price is so low that it's not even that big of a deal. I'm still not sure how fast they will run out, but I'm pretty sure they will last a while just because there are so many of them. Also, they're pretty juicy, so that shows they're not trying to do a ripoff. The markers are filled nicely, the tip is wet, and the ink flows well. To be honest, they felt nicer than Copics the day I filmed this video, but that's probably since they're new, full, and my Copics are pretty old and kind of dried out. So that's probably the case. Still, because of how juicy touch 5 markers were, I had no problem putting an even coat of ink. That's especially important while coloring a face, and I didn't have problem with that at all, so I find that really cool. Now a little about the numbering system. We do have it, and you don't have to know any color theory or anything to understand it. Basically, we are just numbered in order, and the bigger number is, the darker we get. Of course, nothing will surpass Copic numbering system because it's very clever, but this one works as well, especially if you have swatches next to you. Also, next to every number it has name of a color, so I had absolutely no problem with numbering and the cap color matched the actual color quite well. Maybe not perfect, but totally better than I expected, so that's cool as well. Well, also I was really stupid while using these markers at first. I think you already noticed that they have a little driving on both ends that shows what kind of tip it has. I didn't notice that until I finished filming this video. I was struggling so hard by opening the wrong cap every time. I still can't believe how stupid I was. So yes, this brand do show which cap hides which tip. Also, I'm sorry that the quality of this video might change a little. Since for Touch 5 markers video, I changed the background from white to green by accident. And that messed up the lighting a little, so the second half of the video was too bright, so I had to adjust it a little. I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm just letting you know how lame I am. That happened because I was cutting the paper in half on that green surface, and I just forgot to remove it for some reason, so yep, stupid me. At first, I was planning to fit both of these pictures on A5 format, so that makes one picture A6 format. It's extremely small, but I thought that would work, also I could glue it nicely in my sketchbook. Thanks god my boyfriend didn't understand my plans and printed out them bigger. I didn't use markers for so long and I forgot how much they bleed and how hard it is to color details. So that might have been bad for touch 5 markers because of how much they bleed. So I would advise using bigger formats for these markers, then you will just have a better control with them. Also, I tried out only one paper for this, so maybe the paper was a problem, I'm not sure. This is just some regular, kinda cheap, a little thicker paper that I found at home. I used this one since I think that's the only paper I have which has a smooth surface. So if you get markers of any kind, don't judge them too hard if you haven't tested them on many different brands. For example, I used many different brands for Copics and so many of them were terrible. So that might be the case for touch 5 markers bleeding, just warning you. So I guess that's it, thank you a lot guys for watching, for listening. Go check out these markers, especially while they're still on sale, I will leave link down below. Also thank you Banggood for sending me these markers, I really enjoyed testing them and sharing them with my subscribers. So see you all in my next video, stay awesome and bye.